Hey everyone, we're finally here at the end of Automotive Logistics and Supply Chain Global 2022. I've been smiling end to end this event. It's just been so phenomenal, uh, you know, in terms of the discussions from, from our top speakers, the buzz in the room every time we, we had a networking event, um, just the insights that we shared from everyone from General Motors, Toyota, IAC, uh, Stellantis, so many more besides. I can't sum them all up in here, but I'll just come back, I think, to the points around resiliency, uh, which were raised across the event, and the flexibility that was required as a part of that, and the communication and relationships that were built. We just were, were talking, for example, with, uh, with General Motors, uh, David Leach, who's Executive Director of Supply Chain Globally. Um, he's got a weekly meeting, his team shares weekly meetings with the CEO of, of, of GM on supply chain issues, reporting on what's happening, increasing the visibility across the supply chain, across tier ends, and of course with logistics providers, and feeding all of that back. That's also partly what helps uh, the, the logistics team, led by led Edgar, Edgar Pezzo, to make the kind of decisions that they've made to invest in extra capacity and, and help secure their network. And we've heard similar from the likes of, of Chris, Christopher Mattingly at Stellantis, really focusing on that tier N visibility, uh, being able to forecast and track uh, what disruptions might look like, not just two weeks in advance, but six months, 12 months, 14 months, uh, when we see an issue and can, and can react. Uh, there's, there's so many ways that the supply chain needs to be integrated. There's many tools to do that. We heard some startups around blockchain and, and other kind of systems that can help pull that together. Uh, and the technology opportunities are so, uh, so interesting, uh, but they, are, they, they don't go without the behaviors, they don't go without the relationships and the partnerships that are so vital to the supply chain. And that's the real key takeaway. That doesn't change, it's only been re-emphasized during this crisis. And we've been so proud to be able to help facilitate it more during this event, together with our speakers, together with our sponsors, and our many delegates, and with you who join us virtually or who catch up with us on social media, as well as on the Automotive Logistics website. We'll continue to share much, much more, both around the event and the key themes that came out of it through our reporting, uh, through our live streams, through our, our publications, and through future events as well. A lot more of that to come as well. So really enjoyed sharing this time with you. Already looking forward to the next one in Mexico coming up just in a few months. Uh, we'll have a lot more to share from that too. But for now, this is me, Christopher Ludwig, signing out from the Motor City. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for spending all this time with us.